Hey Tribe, welcome to HGDC HD Designs Crochet. I'm Heather, your host, and this is my channel all about crochet and knitting and a general yarny life. Today's little vlog, I have so many little bits and pieces to show you. So if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. Thank you for spending this time with me. And if you're brand new, hi, hello, and welcome. And thank you for joining the tribe. There's over 700 of us now, which is pretty amazing. Um, officially, I dedicated myself to the channel, um, like regularly putting vlogs out regularly from January 2018. So January 2019 will be a year and we've grown so, so much. Um, when I was first putting videos out, I got like four views and I had like, then I, I think about February I had about 30 subscribers. So uh, I did feel a little bit like I was talking to myself. So I just want to say thank you so much to everybody that has subscribed and that joins in and that messages me and comments and just generally interacts with me and especially those on my Patreon because it makes this community so, so welcoming and supportive. Um, so as I was saying, today's vlog I've got lots of stuff to show you. Um, I have the best subscribers ever and a few of you have contacted me and said you had stuff you wanted to gift to me. My heart. So I want to go straight into new acquisitions today. Um, I'm just so excited to show you all those items. Um, and I also want to take lots and lots of photos and put them all over Instagram and Facebook and just the whole world in general. So here we are, the big ta-da. Um, first of all, let's go with Josie, Josie Rose on Facebook. She messaged me, commented, messaged me, contacted me after my Yarndale vlog and she said that she was just um, amazed, impressed, grateful that I'd spent my money on uh, Yarndale giveaways for the channel rather than items for myself. And as I had mentioned that I really wanted um, some new project bags, especially for sweaters, sweater sized project bags, she said that she was willing to send me one. I just thought it was so, so kind of her. And then she sent me a link to her Facebook page and said, have a look, I think there's something that you'll really like. And so I had a quick look and there was Harry Potter stuff. Oh. Oh. Um, so I said, yes, please, thank you so much. That's so, so kind of you. And then I got a package um, a little while back now, maybe a few weeks and oh, it's the most adorable package. It, it came like all tissue wrapped and there was a quote on the front and I'll have to put a picture of it in. And when I read that, it made me cry because I've just had such a horrible day, week, year. I've had such a poop year in so many aspects. And the quote was just, um, it's just exactly what I needed to hear and what I'd been telling myself. Um, so yeah, that in itself was amazing. And then I opened it I had not one, not two, but three project bags in it and so I cried even more. <laughs> so I'm going to show you this big one. Oh my goodness, look at this Potterheads. It's got the newspaper print on it um, and then polka dots and the inside is lined with polka dots as well, which I just love. Um, so the newsprint says um, forbidden forest forbidden perhaps our friends loyalties lie elsewhere that's real life you know you know who stronger than ever as atrocities persist um, you have nothing to fear if you have nothing to hide be vigilant dark marks sparks panic the big question I just love it just look at that in all of its glory look Oh, oh, I just, and then it's got protect against dark arts. So this one's huge, as bigger than my face. Ow. Um, 
and in this is now living. Yep, my granny square jumper. And now that it's got its own project bag, I can carry it around and work on it. Prior to this, it was in a yellow JD plastic bag. So I've leveled up a million times. Um, no, I haven't finished the neckline on it. Yes, I do intend to do it. So that's that in there. Absolutely love it. Um, but the kindness didn't stop there. So I also got this one. And this is the one I saw on the website on her um, Facebook page. And I just knew I really, really needed one. So this is hand, not hand knitted, sorry, machine knitted um, into the Deathly Hallows. And it's in the Gryffindor colourway. And then it's got the, the bag for the, it's got the clasp for the wristlet to go on it. And then the charm is the Deathly Hallows charm. Oh. And then this is just lined in a simple blue stripe. Um, and then she sent me this wristlet as well to just love this doesn't have a project in it at the moment but it's going to have one at the end of this vlog um, and then she also sent me this one it's got the Marauders map on it and I've put my yarn related pin badges and then my 10 points to Gryffindor and then I had another package sent to me by Lisa of Raspberry Crochet and she sent me this little tag with Marauders uh, Ministry of Magic on it and this Harry Potter pin and so they're all on there and again this one is lined with polka dots how cute is that oh love it love it love it love it so I just want to say thank you so, so much to Josie because that is so, so kind of you. Um, this one's gonna have socks in. I need to cast on a pair um, because my yellow ones just need the toes. Kitchening. Um, so new socks in there. I've got my sweater in there. And this is gonna have my current whip until it gets too big. So I've got three Harry Potter project bags, which, how lucky am I? So, oh, thank you Josie, that's so kind of you. Everyone go check out her Facebook because she's got um, yarn, like themed yarn and project bags to go with. Um, and they're amazing. And I think I might have to start getting these in the different houses, <laughs> because why not? Um, and then Lisa of Raspberry Crochet sent me the pins, some tea bags, a Hufflepuff sticker, and then two balls of this yarn. It is Phil Atello Philidar, 100% wool, and it's in this really, really cute um, pink, lilac, and cream. I think it's going to stripe. And there's two balls, but I've just knocked the other one behind the sofa when I was moving everything. So I've now got to fetch that out, which I will do because I'm about to put the Christmas tree up. So yes, thank you so much. It was so well packaged and it's really, really kind of you. And I love, love, love Mr. Potter on there, look. It fits in so well. So yes, they're from my amazing subscribers thank you so so much i really really appreciate that um and who doesn't like free stuff and i put so much into the podcast and it's so nice to hear all your comments and um for people to say they appreciate everything i do so just thank you um then i'm quickly just going to mention the lighting so it is about 20 to 4 so we are losing the light I've got daylight bulbs I went and got some but I still like there's a lot of shadows I still don't feel like it's very bright 
Um, so definitely, definitely I'm going to invest in studio lights, which is where my money from Patreon is going to go. So I can't thank my Patreons enough for subscribing to that because your contribution, you know, a dollar to three dollars, it makes such a difference and I'm going to take that money out. I think I started it back in August. I'm going to take that money out and I'm going to get studio lights, which means that the lighting here will be much, much stronger. You shouldn't see the shadows and I will be able to record any time. Because sometimes I want to record when I get home from work but it's too dark and the quality would just be rubbish so big shout out to you guys um, I post on there I try to post every week I've done a new thing where I've recorded my affirmations and I've put it on there for you guys and I love listening to them they make such a difference to my day and I know a few of you Terry and Cindy you've said it makes a big difference to you as well um which is really really cool so what i think i'm gonna do is record them in advance for the next month and put them up but anyway we'll see um and then i try to post sneak peeks of what i'm working on so you guys have already seen my whip for this month um my current crochet whip because as you all know i kind of just work on one project knitting and one crochet project at a time and then my portable project so you all know my portable project is my baptism socks, the yellow ones. Um, I don't have them down here. They just need the toe grafting, you guys. And then they're done. So we need to really sit down and have a sock surgery day. Um, then my knitting project, it's under here. It lives in this basket at the moment just because it's been beside my bed. I'm working on my cow. Um, since I last showed you, I have sorted out that horrible tangle I had going on and I had to rip it back because, oh yeah, because I'd been absolutely special and rather than zigzag the grey into the pink, I just put the pink and then zigzagged it into grey. I'd done it in reverse and it was wrong. So I've ripped that back and put a few more lines on where it was. Um, I could really do with getting this finished because it is so cold in the mornings now. Oh, I love it. Um, so that's my current knitting project that you all know about. And my Patreons, you know what's coming from my crochet whip. So cast your minds back to when I got sent a delivery of yarn from Rito the amazing yarn that I received and I have been swatching with it you guys I have finally got to it so I was sent the yarn and I decided I was going to finish a lot of projects I could solely dedicate myself or a lot more of myself to this project and so we had the vlogs where I had like five finished items um, and I've also had other things going on in my life which I'm going to put at the end of this vlog but now I'm back to crochet. They sent me all of this yarn plus two other balls. Um, and there was the whole debate, is this olive, is this mustard? It says mustard on the website. But when I got it, it's definitely olive. And we got to the bottom of it and somebody helpfully commented when I post about it on Facebook, I think in a group, that in Italy, this is the colour of olive oil when it is cold pressed. Anyway, I love it. And it looks really good against my skin colour. Though, I think the light's a little bit whack for you lot. Um, and so I have started to swatch because I don't know how much of the yarn I'm going to use up and I want to conserve as much as possible, I've been swatching on different balls so I can rip the swatches back. Uh, and equally, I've got a swatch board with lots of swatches and I've got more over there. I don't really know how I want to store them, so I don't want to add to them until I know. Um, but I just used a 4mm hook and I just did some solid rows. Um, a little bit of ribbing and some more solid rows. It feels really good um, and it hangs really well so I'm pleased with that. 
Um, and again, if you've been on Patreon, I showed in my bullet journal the um, design that I had in mind with the big fluted sleeves, um, which I'd sketched out. It came to me randomly when I was in church a few months back and the name Bellflower came from one of the characters in Once Upon a Time and then this yarn was sent to me and I just knew that's what I was going to put it toward um, and I've found some pictures since on Instagram, no nope, lying, Pinterest, these are not my pictures, no copyright, they are, they are from Pinterest but when I saw them they have really resonated and that's kind of what I envisaged for my jumper when I get it done um, so I want like it to be quite loose in the body and I want quite fluted sleeves and the crop fit that I like um, and then in the olive one that I saw there's a matching skirt never made a skirt but I really want to make a skirt now as well so we'll get the jumper done and then we'll see what it looks like um, so as I said I've been swatching but because I want to conserve the yarn I've been undoing the swatches so I will make sure from now on that I try and take footage before I frog what I'm working on so you get to see a bit more of an insight um, I think one of the issues I've also felt with this project is I've put a lot of pressure on myself um, and so I've kind of Rather than just diving in, I've been dancing around it because I've been thinking, oh, I don't want to get it wrong, or what if it ends up looking rubbish, or I don't, I don't want to waste everyone's time. When really, I should just crack on with it, and if it looks rubbish, frog it and try again. So, yeah, definitely need to just jump in on that now. Um, I'm really pleased with this swatch and the way the yarn feels. It's really lightweight and it's really soft. Um, and it's got quite a lot of spring in it, a lot of give. So that's definitely something I need to factor in when I'm making my top. And I think that's why it'll be good for a skirt because look how much that stretches. And I'm not, I'm not yanking it up. Like it's not a lot of force to make it do that. Um, so now I'm thinking I need to do a top, do a matching skirt make all the things <laughs> um, what else was I gonna say uh, one thing I was gonna ask you all um, and again I post about this on patreon does your crojo come and go with the seasons so I've had a few comments saying please 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 um, do a vlog on crochet because you've been all about the knitting for so long which is true and I was just trying to finish projects up and make things that I could use but then also I kind of lost the urge to crochet part of it probably because I was putting pressure on myself with this and also part of it because now that it's darker and winter's here I just want to read um, and a lot of my other hobbies have been popping up so Shardine she reminded me that I like to make chainmail jewellery so I'd like to get back to that um, and then just other things crop up so I feel like as winter's come in my crojo's been left behind um, does that happen to you lot? is that normal? it happens to me and one of the other things I've been doing is I've had a mass declutter um, I had a new carpet fitted in my bedroom and so with that I've decided to go even more minimalist and I just have a rail and a couple of tubs for like socks and underwear to go in um, yeah it's so different it looks really really nice um, I didn't have a bed frame anyway I just had my mattress on the floor um, and I'm just playing with where to put my TV I don't use a TV often but it's the one that my granddad gifted to me when he passed away with all his Harry Potter DVDs and I do like to fall asleep to a film when I'm struggling so I'm just trying to make that fit in a nice uh, aesthetically pleasing way so because of that I had to empty the whole room 
then the carpet got laid which took quite a bit of time but shout out to my dad and my uncle for helping in so many ways and then I put everything back I had a mass declutter and so my conservatory is a bit of a dumping ground I got rid of quite a lot of books um, they've gone to my mum and there's a few to go to a charity shop got rid of quite a lot of DVDs that some had just been left in my collection from breakups and whatnot and I just I don't like them so they're going and I do do a lot of Netflix and things like that anyway and then there's loads of stuff that's gone on eBay and although it doesn't take a lot of time it takes quite a bit of time and so I just haven't really had the time to crochet um, but rest assured the money that I make from eBay I'm going to put towards my student loan but I also am going to get a new tripod so that when I'm recording you sh it's got a level on it so I'll know if you're because I keep looking thinking are you wonky? <laughs> so new lights um, courtesy of Patreon, a new tripod courtesy of Mass Clear Out and a new project courtesy of Believing in Myself. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think for crochet that's everything other than to say from the giveaways I haven't posted them out um, and I'm going to bag them up make them all pretty and get them sent to you and hopefully you'll both get them before Christmas and also the little um, thank you gift that I've um, pledged should we say to my Patreons I'm going to start working on making those and get them sent out to you um, there's just a few sort of individual personalised bits for each one so they're going to take a bit of time but I will get them to I think all of you bar one live in the UK so I've got a bit of time to get them out to you so next time you see me you see that shadow up there won't be there it'll be nice and straight on a new tripod and I should be able to show you a huge chunk of this um, so I want to say thank you to Rito for um, the yarn and being patient with me as my health recovers and I've now cleared a lot more space and time to dedicate to this and thank you to the lady that helped me pick this yarn because I'm really impressed with that give and the colour and thank you to my wonderful wonderful subscribers for gifting everything that you have and my patreons for um, supporting me with your pledges that means so so much um, the more that you like give to the channel the more I can show and the more I can give back so that is invaluable thank you and I just love having that little place that I can post and talk to you all um, and then just thank you for you guys for being here more crochet stuff to follow so I'm gonna go because I think it's that dark in here you can't see me and I'm gonna put my Christmas tree up it's the 24th of November and I'm putting my Christmas tree up happy making